Okay, the other topic which I was asked about, but it was due for a little bit of coverage, was when I, it's not specifically related to the Matador, but when I, when I do the Matador, what sort of paint technique am I going to be using? And so in this quick chat, I will just cover approaches to a small vehicle. So I'll just show you this one. This is the Matchbox Renault FT17. Now take note that that one has got quite intricate camouflage on it. Even behind the running gear, the tracks. Um, so a lot of a lot of nice hand painting there. Um, just sort of random muck on the underside. Got its camo there. So we'll come back to that. I just wanted to show you that. It's also even got the little decal on it. Very nice kit that. This one which I've shown before. Very nice half track that. Airfix. White half track. Um... This one's got less less attention paid to it than that Renault FT17. It's nice. It's this one is done as nice to view from a little distance, half a meter, a meter. Nice to look at. And then this German 8 Rad was I, I can remember I obtained this one from someone low quality kit had been started possibly even a couple of parts missing and I thought I will I will slap that together and um, just practice something on it. So this one is the absolute simplest of what I've done and we'll start with this one as um, for the painting demons for, the, for, for what I'm talking about with the painting. This one was assembled completely except for the wheels. So the wheels were left off because they needed to obviously get their black tires. Now you can see that I sprayed a matte blue-gray over the whole thing. And then on the underside, I, you know, I was of the opinion that you're hardly going to pay attention to there. No one's ever going to pick this model up. It wasn't a display model. Um, so the whole model was assembled. So approach one would be the whole model is assembled minus a few parts. So in this case, let's just say wheels might be a common thing or tracks to leave off. You spray the whole thing or hand paint, but um, to hand paint in all of that uh, would be pretty difficult. Spray, spray as best you can um, and then weather afterwards. So the type of weathering that might have been done here, uh, th there's a variety. Either you can just dip the entire model in water so that you can get a watercolor flowing uh, in all, all the recesses just to get a bit of a shadow and, and dirty effect in all areas and then do your final bit of rust, rust streaking. So a very simple process um, where the model is basically complete and done. But you're going to end up with areas which were difficult to reach or not possible to reach at all and it depends on the model type then you can get um, maybe slightly better this one probably had wheels left off uh, track sections left off and this may have had the chassis left off to 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 paint a little bit differently under there now that's still very simple painting that's um you know it's airbrushed it's got a watercolor um weathering in there just to settle in all the recesses as well and give a little bit of a darkening and then it's got a bit of dry brushing of a couple of varieties now you can see that the exhaust has also been done separate so a little bit of separate modeling there seats seats had sort of a little bit of attention there so not just straight up assembled and sprayed in one go and then this one would have been somewhat similar it uh, would have had to leave off the the, the tracks and um, 
ensure that I was able to paint in all areas, although this one was more hand painted. So the one that I haven't got a model here right now, although I do have a model in progress, is where, and, and it, it depends on what the model is, how well it's suited to that, is where you do far more painting before any assembling. So in this case, um, at least the whole chassis would be left off, but possibly even axles left off, uh, tracks, wheels, um, any detail bits, these, these side railings, so that you're able to paint and detail as much as possible and then do assembly afterwards. So the one that I'm doing with my Bedford QL is not even sub-assembly painting. It's complete painting of all the parts with on only where halves of things made sense to glue first and, and so on like that. So you've got, you've got about four approaches there from painting parts before assembly to painting sub-assemblies, to painting the, almost the whole thing, to painting the whole thing. With a matador, I don't want to make a massive job out of it like I've made uh, uh, with the Bedford QL, but when you see the Bedford QL, you'll understand why I did that. It really looks awesome, but it does mean that you do need to be wanting to paint all the little parts of something. Um, with a matador I'm going to do the second level so I will be assembling some parts where they make sense and I'll be painting sub-assemblies. There will be pieces left off. I do want it to, to look nice but I'm not going to town on, on anything. It also depends on, I mean you can get away with a really really great effect painting Afterwards, after all assembly and just doing various bits of paint, uh, um, dry brushing and detail painting to, to get your proper effect. Although this is not small vehicle, I did want to show that um, with the painting effects that I'm going to be looking at is this sort of thing where it was a satin to a gloss. Now this did get a... Yep, this got a primer coat on and then a gloss coat. So that's why the end result is satin. Now this semi-gloss to satin look has allowed me to use the oils and do very, very interesting weathering on the bottom there, which I'm very, very happy with. And of course it... It's emphasized because of the contrast of the light blue to the to the darker effect under there. Now on the matador we're talking about closer to a, a color scheme like this. So I still want to produce that very very interesting effect. So I'm going to be playing with colors subtly on that. There will be Saturn. Saturn will be a, a, a key consideration. Um, the end result may still get a light matte. I'll decide. We, we'll see how it goes. You'll, you'll be seeing the results as I go along. But because... Yeah. Just hold on. 